All right, so it's a little cold out today here in Michigan. Um, we have a 2018 2500 L5P Duramax. Um, now, personally, I've never really been into, not really been into Duramax, but I just never really had one around me to even really be in, never riding them or nothing. So, um, this is a 2018, like I said, 2500. I don't know if you can hear me, the wind noise is probably pretty loud. Um, Z71. LTZ? LTZ? Yeah, okay. LTZ. Oh, I didn't introduce Tom, by the way. What's so, up? Yeah, if you want, I'll shout his Instagram out right here in the Snapchat, yeah, wherever he wants. Yeah. Put it in the, the description. But um, basically, this truck just has a level done to it. It has wheels and tires, but obviously not on right now. It's just winter set. You know, he plows with it. Obviously, you can tell we yeah, don't we mess around it. here in Michigan. It's a work truck. <laughs> the DOT numbers, everything on there. It's a work truck. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, so it's a little cold out today here in Michigan. Um, we have a 2018 2500. L5P Duramax. Um, now, personally, I've never really been into, not really been into Duramax, but I just never really had one around me to even really be in, never riding them or nothing. So, um, this is a 2018, like I said, 2500. I don't think you can hear me. The wind noise is probably pretty loud. Um, Z71 is LTZ? LTZ? Yeah, okay. LTZ. Oh, I didn't introduce Tom, by the way. What's up? Yeah, if you want, I'll shout his Instagram out right here in the stash, yeah. wherever he wants, yeah. put it in the, the description. But um, basically, this truck just has a level done to it. It has wheels and tires, but obviously not on right now. It's just winter set, you know, he plows with it. Obviously you can tell, we yeah, don't we mess around it. here in Michigan. It's a work truck. <laughs> the DOT numbers and everything on there. It's a work truck, guys. So, um, if anything, this is the best. This is what the trucks are made to do. Not like mine. Mine is all lifted and can't really do no, <laughs> yeah. it's not the same, so. Working um, in the winter, make it look good for the Yeah, summer. he actually works it. He, he freaking loves this thing. So, um, pretty much we're just gonna, this video, I guess we're just gonna walk around and talk about the new L5P because they're crazy and this thing is powerful. I mean, fast, dude. It's crazy. Like, it feels like my truck tuned deleted, but this is stock. So, well, on the, the 2017 and up, everything with the L5P, they have this new Ram Air Hood, which on most trucks you guys are probably used to. Most trucks and cars that, honest to God, have came out until like, you know, 2015, just like just about. Everything had fake hood scoops. It was all fake stuff. This is a legit Ram Air intake. So, basically, what it does is it pulls the air from the front end. Throws it right into the intake and it's just yeah, it comes right through there. Yeah, it makes it breathe a little better, so it's pretty cool. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure they also come with when you buy them new, they come with like a um, a cloth or something that yeah, you put so you, you know so it keeps the engine warm mm -hmm. just because you know diesels get cold. In there, yeah, that's so. the yeah, so if you guys can see in here, it's all stock, nothing done to it. Very, very quick 445 horsepower and 910 pound feet of torque. So that is a it's nice, it's a lot, it's a lot, dude. My truck, my truck's 420 horsepower and like. 860 pound feet of torque, but tune deleted. This thing feels as fast. I'm not kidding you. This thing feels as fast. It's just like the torque hits you right away. I, he was driving me, and I'm like, holy shit, this thing's like, <laughs> dang, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. There is tuning and stuff you can get through these trucks. It's a little expensive right now. It just um, came out, too. Just came out, so he's planning on doing that just, you know, down the road. But it is indeed a work truck. There's no, no plane over here. So he works this thing daily in the summer and uh, probably the winter, too. I'm guessing we're plowing and stuff. When, when Michigan yeah, with, snow. with what snow though? <laughs> no one's making money this winter, damn it. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> they got out and do snow, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I was about to say. So I got to mention too, he um got he turned up his torsion keys, and then he got some Fox shocks all the way around. So rides pretty damn good. Um, you can see it's just it it looks like a Chevy, you know? It just it's a 2900. It looks sweet, you know. Really but good. one thing I like about these trucks is the exhaust tips from factory look. Nice. It looks like it's deleted. When you're behind one, you can tell if it's a gas or a yeah. Duramax just from that. Yeah, so. it's, it's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. So I guess really, this is really a review, guys. It's more of a just a walk around, kind of look at the truck, give you some specs. Um, we'll go for a ride along. He'll take me for a ride later. I don't feel like driving this truck just because it's not mine. I don't really do that. Um, but interior-wise, he has seat covers on here because he does work his truck like he should. And his seats are brand new, beautiful still. So um, just nice little cheap, Am not Amazon. Dude, these are fucking auto, auto zone. zone. You know, whatever, it don't matter though. But they just, don't it's, even fit. but it's saving your seats though. So it's, it's a good. I probably should invest in some of those, but I don't know. Um, now go in the interior. It looks like your typical just Chevy truck interior, which personally, I'm not too big a fan of. I'm not either. On the, like the twenty, the twenty five hundreds, you know. Yeah. Um, I feel like if I'm buying. It's like a diesel, a big ass truck with a big engine. I want a big interior. And to get the 1500 interior, it's kind of shitty of GM Even to with do. the 3500s. Do you know what I'm saying? It should be, the, it should just have a different look. I'm not saying it's not bad or nothing. It's just, I it, it's a big truck, it should have a big interior. With the high countries, the one above this, the only really difference you get is that brown leather instead of the okay. black. 
Um, but it's the same thing. Yeah. Really. Backseat though. I mean, the backseat looks. The doors are huge. Yeah. Backseat looks very got roomy. <laughs> got the <laughs> right there. <laughs> not deleted yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not really too much to say. It's just a stock truck. Pretty sweet. Um, you guys can see, just a nice, Get nice little L5P. <laughs> yeah. The biggest thing for the 2018s though is definitely the engine change. It's just a. Uh, it's the ba it's the fastest diesel from the factory. It's I think one is it the most powerful? Uh, I think it might be the most powerful yeah, one. So. Um, it definitely feels like it. Rides good. Rides better than a Ford. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, guys. These things <laughs> they do ride better than Ford. GMs do. That's what I love about these trucks. They ride any, great. Tr any truck they make, they ride like a car. Yeah. I've been in new Fords too, and I can. That's the one thing I love is they ride like a car. Ford is you can tell it's a truck. So like I said earlier, it's the same thing. It's a normal 1500 in here, which I kind of don't like. Personally, I, mean, I, I, said, like it. I said it earlier, but I just feel like I'm claustrophobic in this thing. Just because my truck, my dash is like right here. Like, you know, it starts right around there. No, and I know. It, just, it feels and a little bigger. Like I said, I'm a Chevy guy too, and I say the same thing. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you got your ventilated heated seats. Yeah. It comes with all that. Ventilated heated seats. You got seats, your exhaust yeah. brake. Yeah, that's diesel. nice. That's yeah, pedal bad. adjusters. The Ford has that too. Yeah. That's uh, cool for that. It's kind of a nice and neat. Mine yeah. on the side's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, you just got your, you know, everything. Every, yeah. Everywhere you look in this yeah. truck. What it's I love, plug. too, for workers. Look how deep that is. Yeah, it's, it's deep. And uh, So we got wireless charging right smack in the middle, which is pretty cool. My truck. Actually, I don't think the Super Ds do feature that. Do they? I don't know. I don't think they do. I don't know. They might. I think it's a crazy option, though. And I don't think it's right here dead in center. I think it's... uh. Like tucked away somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, have no. I mean, I'm just bullshitting. I don't really know. Too and you got these side panels right here for uh, notebooks and stuff. That's for cool. Work. That's what I, like. I like that too. Yeah. My truck has um, it too, actually, so that's cool. Yeah, those are nice. You got Bose speakers in here? Bose speakers. Nice. Front, back, up here is Bose. Um, nice. One thing they changed out for the 1950s at least is you can get, like, if you get like a high country LTZ and it's black inside, you'll get the black roof. Oh, at least you'll okay. get the uh, two tone. Which, I mean, it's whatever. Not bad. No, it's not, you know, but that's, I don't like those either. Too fucking two tone. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, um, but yeah, you can play nice mirrors with indicators right there, LEDs, pretty sweet. I always liked how GM integrated They're not them. heated, though. They're not heated? They're not heated. That's, that's no, fucking That's stupid. not good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not heated. So I think I saw something. I, I, I forgot how to do everything. Let's see. Uh, all Home. the secret things, but you can do a I think I just read something. Look, so this is pretty cool. I think if you get... Yeah, you there's got... There's an apps thing. So they came with the apps, and you can download all the newest apps on... I think you can see that. It takes a while for it to load so up. See, I haven't done this. Yeah, in a while. this is different though because this is what's in the neutral. Like when they gave the Alpha IPs, they gave them this um, option too. Right now you got to get Wi-Fi, and I don't think we uh, our. I think our Wi-Fi is done until okay. we pay for it monthly. Yeah. Um, but anyways, if you have the trucks new and you want to pay for the Wi-Fi, which I mean, depending if you want to use it or not. Well, want to do it. There's apps you can download like weather and you know. Yeah, you got iHeartRadio. It's pretty cool. Uh, Fox, my Chevrolet, which is just nice too. You could be. You can literally be in Greece and you can unlo you can start yeah. up your truck, yep. you know, from Greece with the app. This is cool. Traffic when you go on the freeways, it'll let you. It'll, it'll tell you everything. So I mean, I do like Chevy's infotainment. I think it's very, very clean. I wish they updated, it, made it look a little bit like I said, different than the normal 1500s. But you can't have everything, so. Yeah. So my subscription is done, so yeah. I can't even look at the weather. But I, this comes with, yeah. This is this comes with built-in nav. Which is so cool. you don't have to you pay know. for it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I, I, their navigation suck though. I really? don't really think it's. You don't that, like it? No, I don't. I don't. I like guess it. it's more of an owner's take on it. Like what <laughs> you don't. I don't even know what to call this video now. To be honest with you, definitely not a review. I guess it's more of a walk around talking. Yeah, about, I guess the. I I think. Sorry for cutting you off. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. You no, no, go ahead. Okay, I'm thinking <laughs> that this is probably one of the top, top two trucks to buy. You know, honestly. Um, Ford and Ford, Ford and GM slash Chevy. It's the same shit. Yeah. I don't think I, the Rams no, are nice. No hay. They're nice. But I don't think it's a it's a go to but truck. The I only I have no problem with them. Just <laughs> they're just like any other Dodge vehicle. In my in my opinion, I think they're just cheaply. Yeah. Cheaply I mean the, the engine is beautiful. They got the Cummins. That's it. That's the best thing. We everything got the else, Austin Trans. Yeah. But everything else with the Cummins is like. I don't know. You get in the Dodge, and you're like, "What the fuck is this?" And you know, the, the, I don't know. It just feels. It doesn't feel like you're paying worth your six. You know, sixty thousand dollars for this. So, um, right. For I don't know how much this truck costs. Sixty grand. This is actually a seventy grand truck. Seventy grand. Because you got the custom Ooh, sport edition. Sport edition. So. So you get the Z71 little metal badge on the side of the door, and it's just it's it's. it's and you have paint match shit. Yeah, and a lot of, yeah, it's a Z71, so you get your paint match. And a sports edition usually come in white, but they have a black one too. Uh, with the sport edition, so 
And that's really it. Yeah. It's a special edition, so they want to raise up the price a little bit. Plus, it's a diesel, so they got to add the the, the diesel in. Diesels yeah. are like what eight thousand dollars. Yeah, just, just about. So it's probably one of the best trucks you can get, just because the ride and the power of this thing. We'll go on a ride and we'll show you guys. Um, top top two truck. Like I would get one of these for sure. Like they're they're sweet, and I think you could work them. He works it. I've seen videos of him working it. And I know it probably works pretty good. I've read a lot of things. Um, feeling the power of this thing. Impressed. Impressed it. <laughs> I'm really am. That's that's not. It really feels like a tuned truck. So, and these things tuned and deleted are nasty. Dude, I don't. I honestly, mean, nasty. Honestly, just to make this a highlight of the video, I really don't care if you take it for a spin around the block in the neighborhood. You can adjust your seat because I have memory. <sighs> so you can adjust it however you want. Okay, we can do it. <laughs> first things first that I notice right off the bat, the hood. Yeah. The hood. I, it probably won't show up on camera, but no, like, it, won't. It, it looks <laughs> sweet, dude. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, auto, auto foot adjustment thing, sweet. Yeah. So basically, we're not gonna do nothing crazy. We're just trying. No, I, I want to hit some bumps. I want to feel. Yeah. You know how it goes. And That's fine. Dream shit. So no accidents, no ticket. We're good. No, yeah. We are good. Okay, so first things first. Again, throttle response is. Which yeah. way should I go? Right. Go this way. Okay. Yeah. This will take you through the school right here, but it'll take you to 11 mile too. If you want to go 11 mile, I don't. Oh, we can just go, just go through the neighborhood. neighborhood. Care. Yeah, we'll take a lot of miles to the neighborhood. We'll drive through the neighborhood. So, okay, what I'm noticing right now too, the steering feel is like, like you said, like a car. Yeah, it's literally like it's like a car. Like that is nuts, dude. Yeah. It feels good, and it's a diesel truck. Yes, it feels great. Which I love how they make that these these trucks. Cause on a 1500, it drives like a car. But if you go on See, the like, heavy duty, my dad would like this. He hates my truck the way it drives. My truck drives like a truck. You know what I'm saying like you, the way it steers and everything. We're noticing some bumps around the right? Yeah. A little, I mean, dude, it doesn't it doesn't feel like a truck. It doesn't feel like a truck at all. Like, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> what is this? I, li I like this a lot. Yeah. So I'm not touching the throttle at all. Mm. Like, one bit. And, it, 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 and it's, it's just moving. It's dude, I'm already going 30. Like, what the fuck? This, is, a, this is really... I love taking it on road trips and stuff, because it's just... This is a beautiful truck. I love it. You tell me where to go. Is Frank switching to, uh, to Chevy? Straight or left? It's straight. Oh, okay. I don't really care. Fucking... I'm not touching the throttle. That's stock. Get <laughs> out of here. Yeah. Man. Holy shit. Hey, boys, listen. <laughs> the Ford <laughs> might have to go down. I, don't, I never really driven a GM, like a Denal or a, the Duramax before. I'm liking it. I see why you guys like these so much now. Holy crap. <laughs> mm, I'm going to get some hate for this one. <laughs> for sure. Go straight. Oh, look at that. 6'4. Right there. Holly Davidson, baby. Oh, yeah. Probably blew up in a driveway. <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> so this thing sounds good too. Yeah, it it, it, it does. It, it sounds quiet when it's just sitting outside, but once you press, like if you stand outside and you press the gas, you can definitely. Uh, it, it is definitely loud. Look how this thing is time. taking the bumps. It's smooth, man. Yeah, uh, it really uh, is. You know, I've had guys pull up next to me with Fords and ask me, uh, I mean, how I like it, and you know, I I, I don't hate Ford. You know, yeah. if I had to hate a truck, it'd be a Ram. And I'm sorry, but uh, but there's reasons behind it. There's reasons. There's a lot of reasons. There's more reasons behind it than a Ford and a Chevy. Is this it? I don't even know where I'm at. No, keep going. You're good. I'm so just, the only thing I'm not liking about drive, the only thing I'm not liking about driving these is I feel like I can't see too well. For reason. I you, you know, know what I'm saying like the pillar right here. It might because you have the. Well, the, I'll tell you what. The thing, but like I don't know if I'm my seat position. No, 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 I'm, I, or I'll, something. I'll explain. <laughs> okay, because you you probably know. I don't know if it's the same with a turn turn right. I don't know if it, and once you get to that stop sign, make another right. Okay. I don't know if it's. It probably is the same with the heavy duties. The windshields on Silverados okay. are small as fuck. Okay. Uh, I, I've when I, I've driven an F one F one fifty and the two fifty, it is actually it is easier to see, and and I believe that's because the windshield is just it feels it really it really it's just bigger. You can see better. No. And it affects it a lot. No, I don't know. If this is gonna sound stupid. <laughs> okay, it might sound stupid. You said we're making it all right. Make it right. Okay. Yeah. Um, it feels the way like the way. This all feels feels kind of like sporty almost, to in a sense. I don't know how to really explain that. More because like the like it feels like a Camaro. The windshield's like cut. Like, that's that's like yeah. it's cut down. So and probably the way I'm sitting, I'm sitting. A little, I don't want to mess in the seating position. So <laughs> but I'm sitting a little high up. So my truck, the windshield's like way far in front of me, and I'm like sitting way back. You know, right here I'm feeling like I'm like it's in definitely a Camaro or something. The, Not bad. It's no. just. Different feel for sure. Yeah, the view is a little different than the other trucks, even if, even with the Ram. Um, but I turn right right here. But it's just something. I mean, if you're if, if a guy has driven a Chevy for his life, it's just something they're used to. Yeah. 
so that it doesn't really, you know, bug them. So the only thing I'm, I'm I don't know if I don't, you know, I'm not pressing the brakes too hard. Yeah. But I feel like they're probably powerful, but the, I feel like they they're, should engage like harder earlier. That's what I was. I got thinking. pushing down pretty decent for. Um, no, I've mentioned that. I'm saying, I don't know how to explain it. No, no, I know what you're saying. I've mentioned it before. It, it, the brakes are a little. I it's really, a heavy truck, so you need these brakes yeah. to, to really work. The brakes are kind of. They don't. I don't. They, like, they I'm respond. Feeling, I'm feeling the weight but, when I'm slowing down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I'm pushing with other ones. I'm usually just kind of like. Yeah, it's, it is. It is weird. I don't, know, I don't know, but they work. But you know what? <laughs> this thing rides beautiful, beautiful, and it's just a fucking big diesel truck, and it rides as good. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's just uh, it's. It's a work truck, but like you get the if you get it's the LTG, too, it's almost too nice. For it's work. almost too nice. It's like That's what I was trying to like say my earlier. truck. I kind of don't feel bad beating up, and I know it's a platinum, blah blah. blah but like, it doesn't really feel necessarily this nice. And now you're gonna be like, what the hell? How does that make any sense? Well, the way it drives, it doesn't feel like. I feel like I can beat it up, but it's like, oh, beat me up. It's a, you know, I'm a diesel. But you can this get, feels like a car. You can get the most basic one, the WT, the work truck, and it still drives the same. Same with it? Yeah, but the, the what I'm saying is like, if you get like a, if you work and you get like an LTZ or a high country, and the inside of you, the leather sub, it just, it's just, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's too nice. I yeah. think, and, and you get this, you get the, um, the middle console, like the middle console too. Uh, you know, I believe this middle console is. An, I don't. You get room to put your notebooks and stuff, mm -hmm. but I feel like work truck should have the, the um, just a middle seat. The bench. It's just so much. Yeah, which is that's a that's a complaint about my truck too. Is a middle console is nice, but at the same time, it's like just collects garbage. First of all, quarters and clickers and keys and sh and you're like. Mm. And, and what sucks too is, as you see, our salters right, our salt okay. controllers right here. And our our our, our plow uh, controller is just just chilling here. If we had the if we had the middle seat, this would be somewhere right there, over yeah. here. And so I gotta ask you, do you have auxiliary switches from factory? No. 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 Ford you one the, there. You gotta Ford get, one there. Yeah, you gotta get the basic work truck. This, like I said, the LTZ in the high countries, the Denali. So they don't want you working these. Then these are too nice. They really don't they want you don't working. Want you they shit. just want you to have a, a nice diesel these through are your like, power. These are like the the big owners of huge companies that just sit there and watch everybody yeah. <laughs> everybody work. Yeah. And they got a couple papers up here, and that's they just do the paperwork. That's the main difference I feel personally because like the Fords, I feel like are. And I don't want, you know, I don't want to sound like that, but I feel like they're more made for work. You're right. So like you get them and you're like, okay, oh, this is more, that's why I don't feel bad for my truck. This, I'm like, I don't want to really get my muddy boots in this thing just because if the whole, like, atmosphere in here is like, I don't want to beat it up. My truck, you know, my hat, sorry. But that, and that's what I hate, because do, do the new, you know more about it than me, do the new Platinums come with auxiliary? Auxiliary? Yeah, I, XLs come with them. That's everything. See, They're all on so them. So you got to get the Every Super Duty. You got to get the basic. I don't know the, L, the LTs, I don't know if they come with them. But I, I, I believe the WT, just a work truck, standard, nothing. You get the base seats, nothing. S small mm -hmm. touchscreen. I think those come with the auxiliaries. I believe. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, don't yell at them, guys. But correct me. Listen, if I'm we're wrong. not, we're not diesel mechanics. We're not. Uh, yeah, we, we don't just, sell we them. Just, we just beat the hell out of them, pretty yeah, much. We so, just, and um, we like to appreciate nice trucks. This dude, I, I gave it like a ten out of ten. Honestly, God, I mean, I don't see anything. Though, okay, I'd say like nine out of ten. The only problem I don't like about this is the brakes. And the interior, like auxiliary stuff, and like yeah, but like more of the feel of like it is a small. It it's is, just, you do feel kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll go in my truck. It would be like holy shit, the and, big fucking difference. And I also feel like this has a big impact on that too, because you know you can, if you didn't have this, you I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, comment, say what up in the comments. Um, comment down what you guys think about the new L5Ps and how sick they are. I personally like. I did not expect this. I didn't. I don't hate GM or nothing, but I didn't really. You know. I don't favor him either, so I didn't really expect this. GM did a good job, a lot of respect gained. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram, I'll link in the description. Thank you for letting me make a video in your truck. We're gonna get something to eat, and I'll see you guys later. You make me